Let's see, okay, quick video. It's Saturday, I'm finally back. Yeah, I'm back. Probably took me a good hour. Yeah, at least a good hour to get all my tools set up and everything to start this project here. Laid out my parts. Power cords and tools and charge the batteries on impact wrench and uh, we'll see how this goes, you know. Uh, a lot of naysayers out there, you know who you are, you know. I got the same naysayers when I put 35s on a Tacoma. And uh, yeah. And when I did the light lift on the Bronco and 40s on my Super Duty and, and 35s on my 1972 Chevy C20 two-wheel drive. They are actually 36, 36, 14, 50, 16 fives. Two-wheel drive Chevy C20. And then, uh, oh, don't forget my old Ranger. A two-wheeled Ranger with a six-inch Skyjacker kit on there. I ran 35s on that too. So I got a little experience with this, guys. We'll see how it goes. You know, this is my first Colorado. You know, this is what it's all about, right? Some of you guys understand that, and some of you guys don't. So, oh well. What can I say? I can say thanks to all the uh, words of encouragement out there and guys who are really interested in seeing how this goes, how it's going to work. Those of you guys don't, well, I guess you just don't understand four by or four wheel drives. The guys actually modify their vehicles. You know, there's always some issue, but you know, you figure it out and you straighten it out. And I learned along the way. So on this one here, we're going to start off like I did with the Tacoma, a suspension kit, tires and wheels. I already had a few issues right there, just fitting the tires and wheels or finding some wheels. And there's an issue with the tires. I'll get around to that later. And um, yeah, there's a few other things. We're gonna, we'll see. My main thing today is, being that it's Saturday, is to get the suspension kit on. See how long that's gonna take, and then tomorrow, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to fit the tires. And being it's a holiday, I probably won't be able to get a wheel alignment. So, um, I'm going to probably try driving the Bronco to work. Although it's still making that clunk. Like something's banging around on suspension. So I put new radius arm bushings. I took that uh, dent out of the transfer case, I mean out of the skid plate, where the transfer case was rubbing on. Right now, it's the first time I've driven it since then. I'm backing it out of here, coming to a stop and conk. You can feel it under the floorboards, like it's the radius arm bushings, but all that's been redone. That could be a problem. Oh, also this morning I stopped, I was out in Fullerton, California, and I stopped at um, Rockstar Off Road. So I'll put a little clip to that. And that's it for now. Probably see, uh, you won't see me again till uh, next week, Monday or something. Wednesday. All right, we got Jeep specialist here. I just talked to the guys at uh, Black Star Off Road. So if you got a George, uh, if you got a nice cards too. If you got yourself a Jeep. And you're in Fullerton, California. This is the way to go. Why is that nice here? That's something I'd like right there. Black and white. Yeah, I'm not driving. I got oh, I've been on some off-road uh, group runs before with Cal Four Wheel Drive, and it's usually like this. I'm like the only. Tacoma or Bronco out there This is awesome. They got an awesome collection of Jeeps here All the colors decked out ready to go. Holy smokes 
you name it, mild or wild. Wow, I need to get me a little shop like this. This would be great. Yeah. Well, that's something new. All right, so that's Saturday morning here from uh, Black Star Off-Road in Fullerton, California. I, uh, shoot, I'm gonna go home and grab me some breakfast and then uh, get to work on the Colorado. Just parked over there. It's time to tear it apart. I'm gonna install the lift kit today. See how far I get, it says it takes uh, nine to ten hours to install it now i gotta see if i can fit the tires and how much trimming i'm gonna have to do on the fender so but yeah it's got my work cut out for me i think i'll go have breakfast first anyway i sold my truck to these guys on the corner here i see it's not there so maybe they sold it already